Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. Today I'll be showing you how to solve rested platform module. I mean TPM option grayed out in UEFI framework settings or unable to enable TPM. This is a requested video. Many people requested us to create a tutorial on this program. Actually, this is not any big problem. You just need to follow some simple steps in your PC's UEFI framework settings to active the TPM option. So let's get started. At first restart your computer, after that press save to or delete key repeatedly to start the fire setup utility. Next go to security tab. As you can see TPM option is unavailable or grayed out. However, in order to active TPM option, at first you need to set supervisor password. Ok, just follow me to do that. And one more very important thing, please note very carefully. Before entering your password, write down your password in a notepad or any secure place. Because if you lost your password for any reason, then it could be a huge problem for you. However, go to security tab. Now select set supervisor password option and press enter. For key instructions, you can see the BIOS item specific help. Now fill the first blank with your password and press enter. Next retype your password and press enter. And again press enter to continue changes. That's it. Ok now as you can see, our TPM option is now available. Alright, now you can enable or disable TPM option as required. Alright, now you can follow me to clear the supervisor password. Go to security tab, select say supervisor password option and press enter. Now fill the first blank with your current password and press enter. After that press enter and again press enter to leave the new password box blank. And once again press enter to leave the confirm new password box blank. And again press enter to continue changes. That's it. Now go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Ok now once again go to BIOS to check the current TPM status. Ok as you can see our current TPM status shows enabled. Also you can check the current TPM status by using Windows administrative tools.
so i hope this simple guide was helpful for you if you have any question then please let us know please like comment and share we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you thanks for watching have a nice day